Okay, so let's say you have a, a pretty simple goal of going camping and running a, a fridge and a laptop and some other devices like phones and you want to run it off grid. Here's the basic setup. We've got here a 250 watts King solar panel. This costs about $189 on special and that's hooked up to a Bluetti EB150 which here in Australia was just purchased for $1,299. That's on special. And if I come around here, you can see the King Solar Panel is about the size of a picnic table and it's catching pretty full on October sun in Australia. This is quite weak sun for us. So it's highly likely it will easily get far, far more intense. I mean, this is only 18 degrees today and it can sometimes be 40. So right now we have a laptop and we have the fridge running. We are getting 176 watts of free solar power, which is more than the draw of 156 from both devices. Now remember the fridge will turn off very often when it's not actually cooling and when that happens we'll just quickly simulate that by going around the back and pulling out the fridge plug so now it's just the laptop pulling the charge which is 68 watts now if you look how the sun varies, it's a pretty cloudy day up there. So we'll get from say 30 watts up to 176, but on the bloody out the display goes off every now and again to save power. So you see we're regularly picking up 170 plus. And what that means is this device is passing through the charge. So it's charging itself, say, 100 watts at the same time as the power is passed through to the device. Let's just take a look at that weather. It's this kind of partly cloudy sky. Okay, so I'm just going to explain how this is set up, because straight out of the box there's a couple of very simple adjustments you have to make to the solar panel and you need to buy a lead or make a lead. But basically with 20 bucks and two minutes, you're ready to go. Okay, so the things you'll need, you'll need, you're gonna need a lead like this, which is an Anderson lead to these MC4, they're called connectors. I'll put a link to this in the description. It's 20 bucks for a Made in Australia one. You'll also need this lead. This lead goes in the Bluetti to charge it. And it has the MC4 connectors and that comes with the Bluetti. Then you'll need a couple of screwdrivers. Paying attention now to the King's solar charge controller. Now the King's panel comes built in with one of these which is an MPPT solar charge controller. And what that does is it takes the, long story short, it smooths the power out. You don't need this because there's one built into the Blue Eddy. If there were not, then it would be fine. If you see here, there is a solar panel icon and a battery icon. And this looks like a light globe. We'll ignore that. Nothing is connected to that to start with. This is not just going to a battery because the Blue Eddy is a power station, has other trickery inside it, like a pure sine wave converter too. So this is what you have to do. It's really complicated. You're going to take these and put them there. So that this lead that, that comes off is, is going to be your extension lead. So this is literally how easy it is. If you don't do this, 
your panel will not charge. It won't break anything. So the Bluetti has all kinds of things inside so it won't break anything. So you're going to take these off and you're going to put them in there. What I will do is just tighten these up because I don't want to lose them. And to be honest, you're never, never going to use any of these again. So I, I tie unless you decide to charge other devices or a different kind of power station. So I tighten them pretty tight. Now you undo these. Just going to leave those where they are. Red and red. See how you can get them behind the little plate. And tighten that up. Pretty tight. And black and black. You might see the little lights flickering there. It's, it's getting a little bit of solar power even. And there's almost no sunshine on it. Tie it pretty tight and they sort of squish together. And, and that is it. Close that down. So you now have built in with the solar panel this Anderson lead. Okay, so what we've got to do, we've got to connect the Anderson lead to the adapter we just bought. Clicks in like that. There's only one way to do it. And then we have to click in both of these, the MC4. So we now have a great big lead that's about five meters long and that will power now the power station. The red tape I added that. Now there's one other thing that you probably will have to do which is you're gonna have to swap the plus and the minus around in the lead that comes from the solar panel. So we're just gonna do that next and just show you how to do it. Okay, so it's the only thing some people might find a little difficult. It's easy. So the Anderson panel, a connector, has these little clips in. And you just press down, I'm not gonna actually go through and do it necessarily, but you just push those down. And, the, and these on, okay, I'll do one, those on clip. You just swap them around once, and it's all done. Remember, not, this isn't connected to anything and nothing can happen. It just clips in and that's it. So overall in summary, final setup. You have your power lead coming out there. I've just cable tied it because I love cable tying things. Bring along to our lead. Goes into our Anderson to MC4 adapter that we have to buy. And then this goes into the Luetti. Which is now giving us a nice, very nice 177 watts of free energy. And that's your basic setup. Done.